In North Carolina, a small community has a lot of questions. A black family terrorized by a large group of white men and women in what investigators are calling a case of mistaken identity. Yeah, this happened on the 3rd of May, just over a week ago in Avondale, North Carolina, somewhere in the Outer Banks area. The Pender County District Attorney's Office telling the New York Times that the group gathered at the home of Damian Shepard and his mother, Monica, looking for someone named Josiah and a missing girl, but they had the wrong house. At least three of the persons were armed. The mother told the paper that she tried to shut the door, but could not. And joining us now to uh, talk about the implications here of this, this whole case, distinguished professor of international law, a friend of our program from the FAMU Law School, Dr. Jeremy Leather, welcome. Uh, welcome to see you, Fred Laverne. Why don't you start by telling us a little bit more about this? So we understand that one of the members of the mob was fired uh, and charged, and they were a member of the new Hanover County Sheriff's Office. Is that correct? Yeah, I believe that the individual there you're, that you're referring to, his name is Jordan Keita, and he's a correctional officer who posed as a police officer in trying to breach and enter into the home of uh, Monica Shepard and her son Damien. And essentially, the young man stopped them. He just recently graduated high school. The mother heard the ruckus that was going on and came in and intervened, but they were looking for a missing white girl. And of course, uh, they came upon this home. It's one of few African-American homes in this community. Uh, and they attempted to open the house. It was a legitimate posse, uh, individuals that were armed with shotguns and AR-15s seeking to uh, engage in some kind of vigilante justice that came out of their their own mind and thinking and they simply got the the wrong house but had it been anyone's house uh, it would have been the wrong thing to do and that's why uh, he's been arrested and charged and i think there are more charges coming for the individuals involved with this incident well here's the frightening thought what if what if the mother wasn't there and it was just the young man this could have gone sideways in a hurry well, yeah, you have another uh, uh, young black man. We, we, this term we use now is unarmed black man, as if to say if you're an armed black man, that would justify your killing to, to begin with, which is a farce. But this young man is trying to keep these people from entering his house. Uh, his mother happened to, to, to step in knowing what happens to black men when they challenge white authority. And uh, she uh, had the son back away while she tried to engage these individuals. Eventually, they realized that they had the wrong house. But who does this? This is reminiscent of the era of enslavement and black codes where white mobs pursue justice with arms in black communities. This, this very behavior is exactly what happened during the Ocoee massacre in Central Florida, Rosewood, the Tulsa riots. It all began with uh, uh, white vigilante justice on African Americans. And, and it could have gone the other way. If you would have gone to the wrong African-American home, uh, it could have been a shootout, like it was in Ocoee in the 1920s. So this is a horrible thing. Well, what rights do you have as a homeowner in a case like this? Well, it's interesting when we look at uh, laws across the country, but in this case, they were clearly trespassing with arms. They were threatening. And uh, North Carolina, in North Carolina, uh, like in other states, there are self-defense laws. Had this been a situation where the homeowner was armed and people came to their home and tried to breach, you would have been legally justified to use deadly force to protect yourself because the mother and the son were uh, threatened. They were in fear of death or great bodily injury. And so the use of deadly force could have been a very serious thing had they knocked on the wrong African-American door. In this case, the mother de-escalated de the situation and she really is uh, the hero here because she pushed back and didn't allow someone who was posing to be a police officer who was actually a correctional officer from entering her home all right dr jeremy levitt uh, down at famu thank you so much and, and you asked the proper question who does this uh, we'll be in touch with you soon sir my pleasure thank you so much laverne and fred